Good evening, darling, and welcome to what is my first ever stream, and also, most likely, the way you're watching this, a recording of what is um, the results of my listener survey. Now, as this is mainly going to be a recording, I probably won't be responding to too much in the chat, those who are there, but um, I'll do my best to be a little bit interactive if I possibly can. Now, what we have here is the uh, first um, of the um, uh, feedback, as it were, that has come directly from my listener survey, which I am exceptionally grateful for. I want to make it clear. Um, each and every one of you took part in it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I can, uh, yeah, don't worry. Um, we can uh, delete that one there. Someone who made a mistake by the looks of things. Um, and uh, hello to Kit and hello to Kat, who have joined in lots of lovely creators coming to watch me as I do this. Um, what's going to happen with this Twitch channel? I simply do not know, my darling, but I will do my best to keep you informed. Either way, let's have a look and see what we got here. We got 142 responses all together and a really interesting makeup of demographic, which I was not um, expecting really to be such um, a big thing, but I'm very, um, uh, some of the results have been quite surprising. Some of them have been uh, less so, but still very insightful. So um, really, I can't say this again enough um, to you wonderful people who filled in the study. Thank you so very much. It has been a huge thing. So um, let's start by looking at this stuff here in the Google form results and then we're going to go into the Google sheet that I've got up here which will um, go into the results in a lot more um, detail. Um, good to see that Jenny and Pepper are here as well. Um, uh, <laughs> oh dear. Um, and yes, we will remember you when you're gone, my darling. So let's have a ganders then, shall we? And go down them all. The first question was to see how you define your gender identity. I'm not terribly interested too much in whatever, um, how do we say it? The uh, biological sex assigned at birth is not that much of interest to me, to be honest. Oops, sorry about the... Uh, um, noise there, that's my pop shield bumping, hopefully that won't happen again, but um, that was uh, me attempting to turn off the, um, turn off my phone so that doesn't interrupt us with any beeps and bumping that thing as we do. Obviously we're live, I won't be editing out <laughs> mistakes like that. Um, but uh, hardly surprising, most of you do define as female, although the um, the amount of people who define as non-binary and gender fluid is quite interesting um, because um, all in all, it's about um, three quarters female to one quarter everything else. Um, there were um, there were several individual responses, um, and I did leave it very much open for other two people put in Demigirl, which wasn't, I believe, a click box, which is interesting. Um, and uh, and hello in particular to the to the gentleman um, viewers. Um, I I am not used to gentleman callers, I believe is the, the, the phrase from some noir film or another. But yes, um, everyone is very welcome um, and uh, interesting. So, but we, as we move down, um, we can see that um, there is a very interesting uh, mix-up again here of the um, of various sexual identities. Um, the possibly most um, interesting thing to note here is that more people do, who listen to me define themselves as pansexual or bisexual um, than um, than anything else. That that um, and I believe if we combine those two categories together, that 
outweighs every other response, um, which um, is an interesting thing and suggests that collaborations with a lady would not necessarily be a bad thing for my listenership at some point. So we will be looking um, (laughs) right into that. Um, There is, of course... um, a, a, a large group of you who define yourselves as heterosexual or straight. Um, I believe the two gay lesbian responses are the two gentlemen, but um, that's something we can look at later when we dive deeper, so to speak, uh, as the bishop said to the actress. Um, many of you do define as um, something else, and uh, what's quite interesting here is those, who, not just the asexuals, but the um, because that is obviously you know um, absolutely a sexual identity. But those who would re- um, who would uh, define themselves somewhere else, um, like demisexual, over being pansexual or bisexual, and that's a very interesting insight to my to my listenership in that regard. Um, and here, perhaps, I think possibly is what to me was the biggest surprise i was actually expecting it to um to appeal more to um well not so much um the older lady but not not to have quite such a heavy weighting towards the 18 to 21 age bracket and in fact if we combine 18 to 21 with um everyone up to 29 so that um all the way up to sort of the first decade um that it's legal as it were to be listening to me uh and that takes way over two thirds so um now there is possibly a thing here which we could call um, data bias and data skewing, which is that one might um, be able to assume that those who are younger in my listenership have more time or more inclination to fill in the study, but whether or which these are the results that we've got and these are the results we're going to be going with. So um, clearly um, I have listener, a large proportion of listeners who, um, who are in the the well who are younger than me let's just put it that way shall we that does not of course leave out you um listeners who are in um the other bracket or prefer not to say of course um uh and wow what can we say usa you are just crushing it here in terms of the listenership again that's not a huge surprise i suppose the usa is after all an enormous Ruddy great country, um, and I do um, perform my um, things in English. So, um, so there we are. Um, <laughs> I see some people in the chat are identifying a lot with what's going on here. Um, but uh, again, not terribly surprising. Um, the fact that um, the UK comes second, also not a massive surprise there. What gets interesting here for me is when we look into all the other countries that people are from um, and finding out that I have listeners really all around the world, which is um, which is fascinating. Um, those of you from countries such as Sweden, Spain, Greece, China, India, Japan, um, a, a Good, 3.5% of you from Australia. Um, 6% of you prefer not to say. Again, fantastic. Um, <laughs> I think I know who it was who was very enthusiastic to say they were from the Netherlands. <laughs> we will combine that, obviously, to the other one we've got from the Netherlands there. Um, but uh, a huge um, number of people from all around the world, which is wonderful. Um, and we can... Although these people have only a lot of these are only one response. Um, remember, we this is um, based on 142 responses out of um, 1,750 or 1,250. If we take um, just the number that it was when I first started this, probably somewhere in the middle. It's about 10% of you anyway, and we can extrapolate from that a sort of general picture. It's not going to be a perfect sample, but there's a um, a lot that we can get from that a sort of a snapshot of the listenership um but yes um i already play quite a bit 
to the idea of a lot of the audio is taking place in America and my characters being someone who's immigrated. Um, although, as you'll notice, there's quite a lot of um, audios that are set in England with me. Um, and this suggests I should continue to do that. Though possibly a little trip down under may be a thing for the late future. We'll see about that. Um, or maybe even to, to Mexico and Brazil. There's quite a, lot, a large proportion number there. Moving on to see how many um, audios you've listened to of mine. <laughs> there was um, a lot of responses here. The largest category being six to ten, which um, does kind of fall into my expectations of uh, of those of you who are interested in me, but um, but also agree that variety is indeed the spice of life. There are many many wonderful creators out there, and I hope you enjoy them. To those of you who've listened to all of my audios. Thank you. Um, I'm so glad that I provide that much entertainment, my darling. Um, and uh, it is interesting. Only one person put themselves down as only listening to one, which is nice. Um, and uh, there are uh, a few others. The, to the person who honestly doesn't know, or, or one, but now I want to hear all of them. Bless you both. Thank you very much for your responses. Now, here we looked at what your um, favorite audios were. And for this one, you can see we've not gone into a um, a pie chart. We're going into purely a bar graph because you could select multiple things here. So it can't really say what your percentage is in terms of that. Percentages won't add up. However, the percentages here are which percentage of, of listeners um, or people who filled in the study, more to the point, um, have um, selected uh, that particular one as one of their favorite. And um, I... I know that I'm trying to try for you stripping is probably my most popular audio. So uh, it doesn't ter surprise me too much to find that 33% of you put it there. And I know that the ADHD, ADHD counselor one um, is also extremely popular, um, partly to do with the subject matter and partly probably to do with it being meta. Uh, but those obviously um, do confirm my suspicions about what you um, you find most interesting in terms of the stuff that I do. Mostly me getting really, really flustered. That's what you're here for, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but a lot of these ones are quite interesting as well. Um, I'm, I'm fascinated with how popular um, Guest Bed and I'll Show You Mine have been, um, for example. Uh, I'll Show You Mine also, of course, fits into the... Um, fits into the flusteredness of, of things um, and so no surprises there and it's of course um, a script by uh, my uh, by my favourite um, script writer the wonderful right bit of kit to um, I've often joked with her that I that we have a sort of uh, um, Scorsese and uh, <laughs> De Niro partnership or Scorsese DiCaprio more to the point probably because um, yeah uh, thank you to the 8% who liked my <coughs> original comedy nonsense of how <laughs> I fucked your mother sorry the 5% who liked that um, uh, also of course I, I noticed very much that the prom trilogy's first one has been very popular of course and um I understand why I believe Baking My Friend has been quite so popular because it quite cynically <laughs> is made for um, for various uh, different... It, it, in fact, actually, now I think about it because we've got, for some reason, we've got two entries here. If we combine those, then it is the biggest of them all. But quite cynically, you know, that um, entire audio is written around the... Um, is written around the four most popular tags that came out there. So it's hardly surprising that so many of you in the way are did. But, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll move on anyway. Um, I'm obviously also quite happy to see that my, um, that my improvised walks here have been reasonably popular with you as well. They're quite a favorite thing of mine to do. Um, and there will be more of those in time. And here's, um, this is where I asked you to pick just one audio to see what was 
I all the most favourite one, and uh, can't decide <laughs> is the most popular answer. So thank you for that. Um, I think that is uh, that's a good sign. Bottoming out, coming in with nine votes or six point six percent, and being, I believe the um, if we ignore can't decide, being I think oh no no um, if begging being at ten percent there, so it would be the fourth greatest when we remove that category uh surprises me because of course that was my first ever audio and i didn't realize until doing this also looking up here at how well it scored just how much of a fan base that one had and uh in some of the free um things that people wrote um later on it's clear that a lot of you want to hear a sequel to bottoming out so i'm going to be in touch with the scriptwriter about that and we will see what we can put together for you um i um it is the at, at the point that we released this this was the only real i believe um uh fantasy one outright fantasy we can now potentially count the guardian angel one in there um and shows there is a fair bit of you who are interested in more fantasy related audios so that's something for me to consider definitely um again uh no surprises that the two ones that did so well up there and and of course the begging one um scored the highest after that um why well, Next asked when you uh, when you most listen to audios or where. Um, I don't think many of us are surprised that in bed is where you most listen to stuff. Um, but I do, after all, usually encourage you to get somewhere comfortable and in bed is a comfortable place. Um, the fact that 34% of you listen to me while going to sleep is quite reassuring and quite nice. And uh, I think definitely some sleep audios are something I'm going to be investing in the future um i can tell you that the next milestone on my patreon when we hit um 250 a month is to open up um is to a start releasing regular sleep audios but also open up a new tier that specializes in custom asmrs and stuff like that um to those of you who listen to me at work on public transport more power to you you're awesome <laughs> but um, I think it's I, I am quite interested to those of you who are actually doing it at work while other hobbies who are listening to me whilst doing other things and having me in the background that's also a very interesting thing that I could do stuff with as well um, that sounded dodgy that it was meant to that I can use um, to those of you who put the two things in there I'm not going to lie I kind of assumed this one but that was uh, but thank you all the same for confirming and um, to those of you doing while listening to me or studying and doing homework, I, I hope I'm not too much of a distraction because that's some important stuff you're you're up to there. The fact that friends to lovers obviously scored highest of my um of the favourite tags and themes. Um A, it's not surprising, but it also confirms I'm on the right track and we'll carry on. This with gentle M Dom being so popular was a big surprise because there isn't a lot of M-Dom in my stuff um, and um, and also just straight M-Dom of course scored very high as well and does suggest to me that maybe I should be putting some more stuff around those areas so um, I'm going to be looking at how to sort of bring a bit more dominance into some of the audios without going against the brand as it were um, you know there are a lot a lot of VAs out there, particularly male VAs, who are doing some really good MDOM stuff, um, far better than I ever could, um, many of whom you do seem to listen to already. Um, so do, um, uh, yes, though, I, we will see about doing that and how much I can incorporate my DOM side into what I do for you. Okay, darling? Good. Um, other things that did quite well, obviously praise, begging. The, again, it, it's hardly surprising that those four top tags <laughs> did so well. And the awkward and flustered, of course, have <laughs> done very well here indeed. Um, but obviously, romance and friends and lovers, BFE, these are love. These are the things that I'm going to be specializing in going onwards, obviously. So um, don't worry about that. Um, some of these, surprising. 
interesting, interesting. Nice to know that there's people here who are there for that. And I'm very glad to know so many of you are here for the comedy. Um, and this obviously is something I'll definitely be looking into more in the future. For those of you who put down the individual things, thank you. Very interesting and uh, lovely suggestions for me to, to look at. I next then asked about um, the tags that you did not like and tags that you wanted to avoid in particular. I was um, I was surprised by how many of you weren't interested in teacher student, as obviously one of my more popular audios is a teacher student. Although possibly I'm thinking this might be re um, related to the concept that teacher student could come with age play as opposed to being um, being a ma mature student or um, or stuff such as um, uh, I've always where it's an ex student or um, specialized stuff such as shall we dance or um, the um, the wonderful two by by birds um, nocturne and lotondo where I'm your music teacher and we're both adults um, so um, it would be interesting to dive deeper into that um, my guess is something I haven't actually analysed and should possibly do a deeper analysis of is um, to look at the age bracket, the the, um, the largest age brackets for this and see with that. Um, these aren't surprising at all, obviously. Um, the reason I have done a few audios that include these tags are because, um, are because of inclusivity. There are people out there who cannot achieve an orgasm and who find audios where the listener does orgasm quite alienating to that respect. So to have peppered a few of those, as it were, um, out there where the where the listener doesn't um, is an attempt to uh, to be inclusive for those who have those issues. Um, but it won't be a common theme. But every now and then, when the story allows for it, which is the most important thing for me. So um, we got that twice in the um in the prom trilogy because of the situations involved <laughs> of it that um won't be uh, that won't be something that comes up too much and i finally did give you an orgasm in the third part now i believe um finding out the historical and one night stands aren't too popular as well is definitely something that will influence me in the future though there is definitely more historical stuff coming because i know those of you who liked the pride and prejudice one really liked it and i like pride and prejudice too so there we are uh these are uh, this is more just for my own amusement really i suppose but i'm i'm very happy to know that so many of you like my good evening darling introductions and um and the little um afterwards and um which are very important to me um the fact that 21 percent of you are fans of the poultry of the damned is good that <laughs> came entirely out of my own madness really when recording um nice and slow and will probably continue to be something we reference every now and then but on, again only when we want to um i was interested to know so many of you don't believe there is such a thing as too long an audio i mean a good three quarters of you are very happy for the audio to be enormous um and um hardly anyone with 15 minutes um most of you um everyone clearly is happy for it to be at least 30 minutes for it to be up to 30 minutes with most of you happy for um, 45 minutes and an hour as well so that's great um, finding where you would also find um, audio was for market research for me. Obviously, we were expecting that to happen. Um, but to know that YouTube is a place that a lot of you go to, presumably mostly for SFW content, is interesting. And that um, 26 of you do subscribe to a Patreon of some sort. Um, and of course, there is plenty of NSFW audios on Pornhub, which is something that is interesting to me as well. Um, thank you to those individual <laughs> things we were don't uh, get into those. Now, I'm not going to look at the the audio creators right now. We went into that in de detail in the other service. I'll just pass right through there. Um, I don't think the first two responses of why you listen to audios are particularly 
Um, ridiculously surprising. <laughs> Let's just move on it. But uh, the fact that the most popular of all was to enjoy the sound of a favourite voice. Um, and um, I like to think that that is simply one of the reasons you're listening to me and the fact that I'm one of your favourite voices is marvellous to me. Um, living fantasies, dopamine and feeling love, detaching from reality. The fact that combating loneliness as well and depression were also big things up there shows that I think I may be on the right track a lot with all the comfort stuff that I've been doing. Um, and I am, I'm bringing out a lot of SFW comfort, comfort stuff now, um, from now on, on my Patreon. And we'll also be making sure there's plenty of comfort related stuff in my audios to go on for the NSFW stuff that I'll be continuing to release for free on Reddit. Um, the next sections are more purely market research for me, um, finding out that you, if, whether or not you knew I was on Twitter, I am, um, and you can find, uh, little small audios and, uh, and photographs and stuff on there as well as general, um, tweets as it were. And then for how many of you knew that I had, um, a Patreon, I was surprised to find more of you knew about the Patreon than, uh, than about the Twitter. Uh, and, um, I'm quite happy with that because it means my marketing for that is working quite well and that most of you found it from my Reddit profile again means that I'm doing quite well. This doesn't surprise me, the fact that uh, money is an issue um, for joining my Patreon right now and I'm glad that that, honestly, I'm very happy that's the main barrier. Um, uh, I um, If one of the others had been much higher, I knew that I... It would have told me that I'm marketing, or not more say marketing. I am not necessarily doing the right thing by having such a, the the Patreon to that extent that I'm doing something wrong there. Um, but that's clearly not the case, and that's great. Um, as terms of money is concerned, um, my original thoughts were that I wanted to make it a premium product because I didn't think I was going to get a great number of subscribers. Um, now that I know there are a lot of you who potentially would be interested uh, because these other things aren't an issue, um, we won't uh, <laughs> talk about those. Um, uh, I will, um, tells me that it is um, probably a good idea for me to create a lower tier and I'm just um, deciding that at the moment. I can tell you the tier will be called Dear One, coming under Darling and then Dearest Darling. And it will um, it will have slightly more limited access to all the stuff, some of the audio, some of the things I put up on there, probably the sonnets and the book readings won't be available um, and uh, the other, some of the other stuff may come at a slightly um, later date, as it were. But I'm looking into that, and I'll get back to that. We then had everyone filling in your fantasies, and we'll come to that at the end. Thank you all so much for that. So I then um, took it upon myself to dive a little bit deeper. Um, as you can see, I mean, we already knew the stuff like the um, the ages um, from what you. Um, had um, put into the forms, but I could then um, combine some of these and find out where, for example, the sexuality of my listenership broke down by age group. So to find that, for example, um, we have um, that um, almost, in fact, actually, everyone who defines um, as gay, other, or prefer not to say, pretty much. It looks like one listener who's gay did not fall into this, but everyone else all fell into either the 18 to 21 or the um, 22 to 29. And you'll notice that for this um, particular bit of analysis, I have combined bisexual and pansexuality. I do know they are different things, don't get me wrong. <laughs> um, uh, but it, um, for um, simplicity and just to get a general picture, I found that more useful there. Um, I may at some point dive deeper on that and separate those two to see where that works out. Um, but as people seem to get older, by the looks of things, they tend to fall into those three categories rather than into, into uh, define themselves somehow differently, which um, um, I'm not sure exactly what it says, but it's a very interesting result to see. Um, 
to uh, again you can say that I um, I broke down again I combined various transits together um, and others together here again to give me a more general picture of uh, of everything else in terms of your gender identities and how much to um, appeal to things like that um, and uh, you can see <laughs> this is kind of interesting here but I um, I put my um, uh, this is just simply again looking more deeply at to what the um, what the causes of um, of not wanting to subscribe were, um, and here I was looking into where you're made up by where everything where everyone comes from by age, um, and that again of course. Um, it's not hugely surprising that obviously 18 to 21 is the biggest category in all of them because it's the biggest category in age, as it were. But seeing that things generally do seem to um, reflect as um, they uh, uh, reflect um, as uh, as the age groups they are go through each of the locations is again very interesting to me. But it also looks at the various makeup of. Um, of where things go. The other thing that I did here, which I had to do via a virus sheet, as it were, was to look at who your favorite other VAs were. I was not surprised to see that Everdistant Utopia, uh, Avalon, was the top number. Um, as myself and another uh, VA said to him when we had a chat on a, on a Discord at some point, you know, with uh, me, after giving him a little bit of praise, he humbly as you would expect from that beautiful human that he is uh said oh no no i'm just a guy and um, the other va replied no you're not just a guy you're the guy and he is he's amazing we, we all love him let's be honest um finding out about um lustful crunch somewhat immoral and bruce shins being your next three highest though um is um is again something i find quite fascinating um and this sort of helps me look at what other um, male VAs I should be um, I should be researching into I should be um, potentially partnering with in the future with any luck for a um, for a collab and so we'll be look at that these two graphs here um, this is looking at the makeup of everyone who got more than one vote and this is just the top 10 or top 11 I think maybe right here just to look at it in a graph form so thank you very much all of you for this um, I also want to say thank you very much indeed for all the um, audio fantasies you gave me and all the free feedback you gave me there was a lot of interesting things to look at there and I would say one other thing before we go which is that um i uh, um did take a um i did run a random number generator um through to pick a fantasy for winning the competition and i it came out number 65 which was this wonderful one which is the recent fantasy in my mind is that of a personal trainer friends to lovers type thing they've been training and she expresses self-conscious thoughts about how curvy she is and he confesses just how much he's been noticing her but i'd really be talking about other good friends and how good her figure looks and i am so excited to bring this one to life it's going to be a lot of fun though um to those you didn't win do rest assured there is a lot of material there that i'll be mining for the future and it's far from impossible you may hear me bring your fantasy to life anyway but this one whoever you are um uh listener 65 um, I look forward to creating this for you. Thank you all very much for tuning into this, though, that did. Thank you very much to those of you who have watched the video. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Good night, darling.